Today we're looking at Hitch and Toe Series 5, all four vehicles. Here they are in the package. I will be opening all of these up and showing you them in close-up detail, just as you probably would like to see them. First, let's take a look at this 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 and enclosed car hauler. This trailer is big enough you can actually fit a car in, but first we'll just take a quick peek at the packaging. Nothing really to report on the back. An itemized list of the four vehicles found in Series 5, as well as some small instructions on the trailer hitch. Let's let this little beastie breathe. Sometimes you just gotta rip and tear. There we go. Nice, nice piece. There's always some little doodad parts kind of floating around in here, such as the, uh, well, the hitch is broken on the truck. I'm not sure if I just did that or not, but uh, actually the ball is broken off as well as the hitch being broken. So, that's always a disappointment. The piece that, uh, oh, there it is. Never mind. Forgot about that. In the first release of these hitch and tow trailers, Greenlight had the trailer jack piece already installed in the trailer, but for the latest collection of vehicles, in the last couple I think, you actually have to remember to get that little piece out of the packaging and uh, thread it into your trailer. So there's the trailer. See if we can open that little baby up. There we go. Stop it. There's the trailer. Almost big enough to put the own its own truck all the way in, as you can see. Really like those cargo trailers. Here's the truck. Nice flat black bed liner on it. We'll let the paint job do the talking here. Seen this Dodge Ram numerous times, many times in black as well. So uh, not not probably my favorite piece out of this this lot here. It's nice to have a truck, but if you're not new to collecting green light, this isn't your first Dodge Ram. So I have a feeling we're in for better luck as far as the hitch ball and hitch on this 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 and horse trailer. This is one of my favorite trailers that's come out to date so far. It's got opening doors on it that you can actually fit little 164 scale horses in. So there, just to clarify, is the uh, jack stand for the hitch, or for the trailer, up in the top left. That's where it always is located. And it's a good idea when you're buying these in the store to have a quick peek on the back of the truck. Make sure that the hitch and hitch ball are still there and not broken or cracked, as they quite frequently are on these truck and trailer packages especially when being delivered from across the country not really sure why but it's the worst with these big cargo trailers because the truck actually can flex in the packaging and contact the front of the trailer and uh, when it's so large and they're so close together in the package I think that's what causes a lot of the damage so green light if you're out there and you're listening or you're watching to my videos in addition to maybe sending me a couple freebies for review uh, try and work on your packaging for that specific model, please, and thank you. Let's open this one up and have a closer look at it. But there's really no pretty way of getting these things out. The only concern you really have to have is that you don't break any parts. And you don't throw away any parts, of course. We'll take that out after. But for now, let's just have a look at these beasties. Here is the truck. It's got a nice blue paint job with that toolbox on the back. I really like those toolbox. Because if you're a customizer, you can take that out or you can leave it in. It's really up to you. And, of course, lots of good trim details on this one. And the hitches are really quite fantastic when they're not broken. Well, 
I don't know actually, maybe I'm going to bite my words on that one. This one's quite loose. So when they're loose, they're a little bit easier just to take out and put in a dab of construction glue to fix that up. But I don't know. Not having good luck on this set. As far as... Now there is a uh, piece of transparent tape on the back of the horse trailer. And it was on the last one, as I remember as well. The NYPD trailer it was. So you'll need to take that off carefully before you can actually open up the horse trailer. And there you go. Nice little piece. They always look good in any collection. And the third vehicle we're opening up is yet another pickup truck. This is really a pickup truck heavy hitch and tow series. And they're showing off their latest castings. Of course, this is the 2015 Ford F-150 with flatbed trailer. The trailer's not new, but this truck casting has been making a, a lot of appearances as of late in the last couple months since they just made this casting. And followed before that was the Silverado pickup that we just looked at in blue. But nice realistic wheels on this thing especially. You can see that already before we even open it up. I'm going to try opening this one from the bottom and see if I can have a little bit more ease of opening by doing so. I had a couple requests of people that wanted to see how I open up my vehicle. So I'm not a big fan of doing the full opening on video, I have to say. For those of you that are interested in seeing the full opening, I really just suggest you go buy one and film it yourself because it makes a lot of noise and I don't know, waste waste a little bit of time for me in, in showing a lot of my vehicles. I like to get out more than just a few vehicles in each video and show them off. So that's primarily why I don't do full opening videos. I'm trying to keep my videos to a interesting length. A lot of little pieces in that one. See, so you've got ramps, and we'll deal with the hitch jack later. But here's the truck. As I was saying, the wheels on this one, I could tell just by looking at the packaging. Really nice detail. It's got the Ford emblem right in the center of these wheels. Goodyear Wrangler tires with the authentic rims on them. Really nice job. One of the green lights' strongest suits, really, is just the attention to detail the tires, the rims, and uh, even check out that little Ford emblem right on the front of the grill. Normally I go on and on about clear lens inserts and whatnot, but I think we're just going to let the, the video do the talking as far as the beautiful details on these trucks. And uh, yeah, I don't think you really need a sales spokesman when it comes to details on green light. This one happens to have a nice strong trailer hitch. So that's good. It means we can pull this trailer around no problem. And and our crippled Dodge Ram along with it. But looking closer at the trailer, the jack stand would go there, of course. It's got the typical trailer wheels you would normally see, the bland white steelies. Some little signal lights up on the fenders and revert or brake lights on the back. Now the ramps, it would be nice if they slid into uh, like a hideaway slot, but I don't think we're going to find that kind of detail. At this scale, it would just be too difficult. And sometimes these little ramps have some little bumps on the top of the plastic that may need to be trimmed in order to get them to fit nicely so I'm not going to force this one because I've already broken enough green light and M2 stuff in the last couple days and I'll do that off camera so as I said just a little bit of trimming on the trailer ramps there's just some little nubs of plastic that need to come off and I removed the hitch jack there as you can see so just use your little hobby knife a sharp knife to trim off any flashing as they call it excess plastic basically that you may see sticking out from the, the little ramps because if you try and force them onto those clips in the back of these trailers you're liable to snap them off as these trailers I mean they are metal but it is die cast which is a fragile metal and can shatter quite easily even with 
minor stress on such a small casting. And last but not least, my favorite piece out of this four vehicle set, the 67 Ford Custom and Shasta Air Flight Trailer. We have seen this combination of vehicles before, I believe. At least we've seen each of these in different paint schemes, but I always love getting more and more of these four-door cars because unlike the pickup trucks, they're pretty hard to come by in most other manufacturers and just series. So we're going to skip the whole knife opening process from here on. I don't, I don't think I'll be doing any more of those, but uh, let's transition right into it loose. Interestingly, this is the first hitch and toe I've ever seen with a black trailer jack. They've always been silver in the past. Just thought I'd point that out. Here the vehicle is hitched up to its trailer which matches nicely in a banana lime yellow of some sort. That's what I'm going to call it anyways. This one's got the real good hitch on it. You can see it's actually got a like, little click to hold it in place and that's the way they should be but it's such a small piece for them to manufacture. I can understand that they don't get them all perfect. This one is the only of the bunch to feature an opening hood with a detailed engine. And like I said, this is my favorite piece out of the set. Also, I believe that you're getting mo the most money worth as far as details and metal goes when you're buying these cars by buying this one. So if you like big old four-door cars, bonus to you because here you get the opening hood, which you don't get on any of the pickup trucks. And you get the one trailer that is entirely made of metal. That's right, the base is metal, and this is metal. This thing weighs a lot. It's heavy duty, and it's got a lot of detail on it. Right down to a little propane tank in the front. All the proper labels that you would expect. Even these neat little chrome plastic spoiler fins, or whatever the heck they're called. I have no idea. But, as far as the trailers go in the background... The horse trailer is the second best in my opinion, just based on the fact that it has all this cool diamond plating, the opening doors, although it is almost entirely metal other than the bottom of the very base. The ramp trailer has quite a few uses obviously and is great for customizing. It's pretty much all metal except for a plastic wood top and fenders. I believe the fenders are plastic, the ramps are plastic. So not much metal on that one. About the same amount of metal as this enclosed trailer, which is cool because you can fit other vehicles in it and it has a lot of detail, right down to these textured rivets that are also painted on it. But yeah, the only bottom piece here is metal. So when it comes to actual die cast metal and opening parts, this car and trailer here is my favorite.